Hey guys, what's going on? The Real Genic here, bringing you guys another video. And um, I'm bringing you guys a video on a tactician build. And I just want to say something about that. Um, I am surprised that the tactician build has been widely, like, disowned <laughs> by many people in the community. I don't see it being used nearly as much as I did in 1.3. Maybe it's due to the fact that people die quicker so people don't feel as if, like, the tactician build is a worthy option now. They'd rather go with an alpha bridge, a predator, hunter's faith, um, shotguns, or anything like that. But I want to try to prove to you guys why I feel that the tactician build is still a extremely strong build and a tier one type build, in my opinion. So, that being said, let's get into it. What I've got is I got three piece tactician, three piece of golds, which is specialized, vigorous, and savage. The reason I use three piece tack is because personally I feel like the two and three piece are really really strong and necessary, but the four piece isn't. Um, the four piece is nice and it gives you up to thirty percent extra, but I feel like for the amount you get and how long it takes to build that up and the fact that you only have ten seconds with it, it's not exactly viable. And to me, if you're rocking a tactician build, you're gonna have a ton of electronics at your disposal anyways, so it's not gonna matter that much if you get even more. So, guys, I hope you guys, I hope that makes a little bit of sense to you guys. But, um, first off, let's just get into, um, my weapon choices. Because usually a lot of people will like, let's just use an SMG, get more crits, and have a little bit more damage. But I feel like LMGs, if you're using a build that has low firearms, use an LMG. Um, LMGs tend to have higher base damage. Um, although, yes, most of them do have a lower fire rate, the higher base damage and the fact that you get more damage to targets out of cover, like CNS M60, I've got 18%, you really do deal a lot of damage considering your DPS. Um, I have Brutal, Destructive, and Deadly on mine. Um, I am probably, um, in the future, um, going to try to up my firearms a little bit just on like Brutal, but, um, that's not really my focus with this build. Um, I do put down guys quickly, like last night I put together this build just by chance, just went through my gear, wanted to make one, and I made one, and literally me and my group, we dominate a server, <laughs> I swear to god, and I barely died, I was 1v4ing at times because my group would die, and I'm the last one left sitting at the checkpoint trying to dodge bullets, dodge and weave, and I was fine, and I know that's surprising considering my toughness is 232k, but I don't know what it is exactly, maybe it's my booster shot, but for whatever reason, even though I have 103k health, 157% uh, armor, I don't die. <laughs> I don't tend to die often. Um, I am not sure if it was just happened to be that server or the fact that I'm just liking this build and I really think it's that good. But for me personally, I feel like my toughness is fine, which is why I kind of scoped into a little bit more firearms than I probably should have um, with my uh, vigorous chest piece because I have a firearm roll on here. Um... But, I'll talk to you guys about my gears and why I made the choices I've done. So, Vigorous Chest Piece, pretty obvious. It allows me to use a booster shot, but still heal my teammates for an overheal, which is extremely strong and really powerful. I've got health and armor on here. I would have loved to have had um, exotic damage resilience instead of health, but I'm just going to stick with the health. doesn't hurt to have because I need to roll armor. I got increased kill speed, which is actually useful now. I got two firearm mods, a 204. Um, with a 248 armor and a 209 with a 245 armor um, That's my chest piece and I'll get into why I don't use a vest Let alone with the reason of the fact that I don't like four piece, but um the fact is look at this here Let me just show you guys why I say get hit by green and I'm hurt I'm, I'm like I'm already back you see that and like that happens even when I'm one shot if I'm one shot like this, I pop that heal and I'm already back to full. And they just wasted all that time on me. So that's why I love having Rigorous. It, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, the bag, uh, the best bag in the game, specialized uh, with armor, disrupt resist, and electronics. I would have rather have like bleed resist or um, burn resist, but disrupt I'll take. Um, Specialized is extremely strong and the best in the game in my opinion. I have an electronics mount with 244 armor and 183 electronics. Um, and I have first aid ally hill, two of them both being 5.5%, giving 11% in total extra to my teammates. Um, why I think the pack is the best in the game? Because uh, if you compare these, you see my tactician is always back. 
234 electronics, which is, yes, is lower, but only by a little bit. Actually, not even. My, this pack is lower. What the hell am I talking about? This is a this is a higher roll. But look how much more electronics I have. I have 191 with this. With this one, I'd have 170. Like, that is insane. <laughs> that is insane. Even if I take off this electronic mod, look at that. I'm still getting 15 to 20k more. 15 to 20k more, man. I mean, you guys don't understand. That is a lot, all right? <laughs> that is a lot. And it's just, uh, it's awesome to have that difference. And it's just one of those things that people don't understand that gold pieces are good now. And I, a lot of people are going to be running more of them. And I'm going to be making a video on which gold pieces I think you should keep in your inventory. Because I think there's a lot that people overlook. Um, anyways, that is my bag. My gloves, I was running these gloves because the SMG and Pulse Trigger hit damage if I ever wanted to run Pulse. But I was dying way too fast. So I put on these, which led me to use my LMG, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> 930 stamina roll, critical hit chance, LMG damage, and critical hit damage. Very good roll, very good gloves for Savage, and I, I'm honestly very happy with them. Plus, they have a decent armor roll on them, too, so 780 is pretty good. Um, my mask is a tactician mask. Um, it has a uh, electronic roll of 965 with a 210 to 45 armor uh, mod on it. Uh, it has skill power on it. I am thinking about taking out skill power for exotic damage resilience or critical hit chance, but honestly, I'm probably going to leave it. Because with this build, I'm not even looking to do damage. I'm just looking to help my teammates in the best way possible, and having more skill power will allow me to do that. Plus, most of my damage is going to come from my skills anyways, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, my minor attribute is enemy armor damage, which is nice for PvP. I mean, uh, PvE, my bad. PvP too soon, hell, I mean, fucking 1.5, they're talking about having a, um, a way to take down another player's armor, which is, which is incredible in my opinion, but, um, <laughs> the skill attribute is 2.5% uh, smart cover duration, smart cover I usually never use, but it's nice to have there just in case, I guess, um, Tactician's Authority knee pads, 978 electronics with a, um, 1070, uh, armor, uh, I have a stamina roll on it of 201, 233, and my uh, performance mod is a first aid self heal. Um, now I like these because I didn't touch any of the main stats. Um, the minor roll was blind death resist, shock resist, and increased kill XP. Um, I decided to get rid of the blind death because yes, although increased kill XP doesn't help me with resistance at all, it's nice to have because now it's actually useful. Um, shock resist is obviously incredibly strong for against PvE with those shock grenades or PvP shock turrets and shock grenades too at that. So I had gotten a first roll of burn, which is nice, but then I got another roll of bleed and I decided to go with the bleed because I feel like between grenades um, and just the fact that predators are running rampant in the DZ, bleed resist is the way to go in my opinion guys. And also with BFBs and just, oh, there's so many things about it. Obviously, I would love Bleed, Shock, Burn, but, you know, that's the Holy Trinity in my opinion. But I'll, this is definitely a good way to go in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, my holster is from a 1.3, uh, 1,008 firearms, 1,002 stamina, 971 electronics with a 594 armor, and 3% sticky bomb damage. Very strong holster. Definitely, I couldn't have asked for a better holster. I'm definitely in love with it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, as far as my Lova, uh, it's just brutal that responsive. I use it in all my other builds. So it's that. Um, and as far as my abilities, my Pulse is 28.5 crit damage, 21.4 with the tactical uh, scanner. With the um, conceal, it's 2140 across the board. So I, have, I do have a really strong Pulse. Um, my Overheal, I've already shown you why I love it. Um, 117 for me, 123 for my teammates. Um, there's that for the overheal, and there's that, but again, I'm using Vigorous, so I'm using the booster shot no matter what. Um, my actual, um, my, uh, uh, support station actually does really good. <laughs> it's actually pretty sweet. Um, but I don't really use it. Um, now, the things I do use, um, are the secret mines. Secret mines are honestly so strong in this game. I love them. <laughs> I love them. I love the clusters. Um, they do 61k damage for me, and um, they're really nice. They have a 20 second cooldown, 
and um, overall they're just super super good for both uh, crowd control and the fact that I'm able to um, do a lot of damage with them and I actually kill a lot of people with them um, I haven't tried too much with the air burst um, but that might be something I do I haven't tried them out too much but I might in the future we'll see but I just really really like these the clusters um, I also like my BFB um, really strong uh, 357k almost 358k uh, to me, if you're running a BFB, by the way, guys, the way to do it is you need chain reaction. I use chain reaction anyways with the clusters because um, a lot of times they'll damage multiple people. Like if if you're using like air burst, if you're, like sometimes I don't use it, but if you're using cluster, use on the run. I mean on the move, and if you're using like an air burst or the BFB chain reaction, because like say you hit a group of four with it, you're doing an extra 80%. So, that's a fucking lot, and that's a guaranteed one hit. <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> so, um, you can also use turrets if you want. Like, my flame turret does like 5k, but like, I don't know. And, but it does have a shit ton of health too, so that's kind of nice to have. Um, my uh, uh, smart cover does 33, 94 across the board. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to show you guys. I have thought about making a ballistic shield build. Because, like, it's kind of sick. Like, like 1.3 million damage you can take in. Um, but, I don't know. I don't know if I need it yet. If I'm going to make one yet. So, But, anyways, guys. That is my build for my tactician. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I will be making a video on ranking all the gold pieces. To see which one is the best in the game. Which ones you should and should not use. Um, some of them are going to include reckless, vigorous, savage, specialized, tenacious, nimble, steadfast. Um, pretty much almost all of them that I can think of that are worth noting. The ones like Prosperous and things like that in the knee pads aren't worth noting because you're never going to need them or ever use them. So, anyways guys, for the next build, I'm probably going to do a Fire Chris build. My Fire Chris build's almost done, if not done. I have to uh, take another look at it, see if I can min-max it any more than I have already. So, I'm definitely going to let you guys know on that. So, um, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Check out my last few videos of builds and whatnot. And as all, I'm the real Genic, and I'm out. Peace.